What's up guys, just giving you a video update on Bam Bam, show you what we're working on today. So at this point, he is mostly doing everything off leash. And so to really test him and make sure he's understanding all of the commands, the verbal commands and the e-collar, I'm using a long line. And so I'll use the long line just kind of as a last resort if he needs any kind of extra guidance, um, I will use it with him. But at this point, I really want him doing it on his own. And so, so a lot of this can be kind of tricky in the beginning because dogs are so nonverbal. So we teach them things with body language, um, food luring, and leash pressure. Um, and, then, and then we want to get to the point where we're moving away from all of that stuff and have the dog listening to the verbal cue and doing the behavior. So that's what we're working on with him. Bam, bam, come. Good job. Heel. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Heel. Good boy. Good boy. Just want to make sure he's following me. Good. Heel. So he's a little too far ahead. So I'm going to go away and give him. Oh, good boy. There we go. That's it. Heel. Good boy. I really want him focused and paying attention. Good job. Good boy. Down. Good boy, good. So there was no help on my part, which is really good. A lot of the times when I see people teaching downs is they'll get the dog into a sit and then lure them down. I wanna to get to the point where I just say down and not have to do any luring and the dog does it. So he's, really, he's doing pretty good on that. Good boy. Heel. Good boy, so a little bit of help there because he was kind of confused. Heel, come on buddy, right here, good. Good boy. Good. So again, I'm not using any leash. I'm using that as a last resort. So instead I used a little bit of body language. Heel. Good boy. Good. Good job, buddy. Wait. Good. Good boy. Good. Heel. Good boy. Place. Good job, buddy. Good. Good boy.